Well, it looks like this is not going to be a good way to arrange it. The, the problem here is, I mean, here's a, this is a 12 inch lead. It's a fairly long lead as pedal boards go. And if I want to go from the twin bender into the, into the equalizer in that order, I mean, I'd need something like a, at least 14, 15 inch long lead. And then I'd have to go all the way back to the phase 90, which I don't want to have to do. That's way too much wire on a board. Um, what I'm going to do, I think, is put it back the way I had it so that the order of the pedals is going to be basically putting them um, in terms of wiring so that the order of, um, on the board is going to look like the order in which they're... It's going to be the order in which they're wired. out to the input on the equalizer we'll go from the equalizer see now there I'm gonna have trouble so I'm gonna need a longer lead on that one We're going to go from the phase 90 into the conspiracy theory. And we're going to go from the conspiracy theory into the amplifier. to the EBH flanger. And then we're going to go from the output. This is where the longer one's going to be required. From the out of that. Put the micro pitch on next. And then we'll come out of the micro pitch. Is out one. I'm not quite sure whether that's right or not, but I think that is left in on the chorus. Then over to the starlight. one. I believe that's all we need to do. I'm just going to switch this around. There we go. It's cleaner. All right. Just got to get power to the quarter, power to the units, and that's where the uh, these units are going to come in handy. All right, so this is the underside of the board, just supporting it with some foam. 
so I'm not putting all the pressure on the pedals. And I've got a collection of power jacks. I don't believe it matters which ends which. These are all feeding power to devices that should have center negative. One of the pedals uh, that I've got on this board is the EVH flanger. And um, it, unlike the other pedals, runs on an 18 volt, not a nine volt power supply. So with the Strymon Zuma, this um, receptacle and this receptacle can be set to either 12, nine or 18 volts. So I've switched this one to 18. And I'm going to mark this cord so that when I pull it across to the other side of the board, I will know which one has the 18 power, okay? Um, I don't want to risk the possibility that I get confused about which wire is which, and then I plug an 18 volt supply into a nine volt device. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of uh, colored tape, this is duct tape. I'm gonna make a flag out of it for now. Drop that through. And the rest I don't have to be as careful about because they're all nine volters, which is the typical voltage for these things. I don't think there's any significance to the fact that this is a straight, a straight one. I think that just um, is because this came with the Zuma. These all came with the Ohi. So that's nine pedals. We've still got one more to go. So we'll use the Ohi to supply that. Oh, now you see, this is where it's gonna be useful to have the bent one because the Ohi is sitting deeper into the board. We're gonna need a smaller head on it to get into this space here. All right, put that through. Put these through for now. I'll just put them all through the same place. And then we'll turn this whole thing over. So if we have a look at this, we need to have the, this is the 18 volt one right here. So this orange cord need not come up through the middle here. We can put that one down. It can run. The rest, I can bring one up here. Uh, power supplies in the way there. I can bring another up here, another. So two more, three more can go up through here.
one that we do need four up here now thinking about it. Okay. This one I'm going to push straight back down. to the micro pitch delay. Good. All right. So we've got this top bank. Power is in on the top bank. And this might be a little trickier, I don't know. Feeding the power to the other ones. Let's see, we've got... Uh, Nine volt here, nine volt there. And we'll just double check for given any power, of course, that they're all center negative, center negative, center negative, center negative, center negative, center negative. Uh, that one doesn't say. They don't want you to know. So it's use Boss PSA pedal only, but I've read online that's not really an issue. It's a nine volt. Um, it's not interesting, that one doesn't say either. Oh, sorry, it says on top. I'll have to check this one. It says positive nine volt. That's center negative. That's center negative. And this is another boss that's trying to be tricky, but okay. I mean, okay, it's their pedal, they know it best, and probably has a special super, uber super, you know, super uh, power supply, but I just don't think it's gonna be necessary. All right, so I'm gonna check on that to make sure it's center negative. Uh, but other than that, I think we're good to go. I got to put one in here. I think that one's spoken for. That one's spoken for. Spoken for. Back to that one. gonna reach so we're gonna move that one to the Ojai. So I'm just going to check on this baby, make sure it can take, say, center negative, and if it can, it should be able to, then we will have fully wired it up. Still want to take care of the snakes under here. I mean, it's just a garden of snakes, and I think we should do something to tidy that up. Uh, perhaps zip tie it in a couple of places, but for just for the moment, I think we're just going to leave that. Find out what we need to do with the conspiracy theory. So yes, it looks like the conspiracy theory is another um, center negative pedal, so we're good to, good to go there.
And that's it, we're wired. Now we just gotta tidy it up. Let's see what we can do here. Let's take these. zip tie those. These fellas. This is the power cable. Just pull that out of there for a second. I was saying we would benefit from zip tying these right here. Taking this lot, zip tying right there. That's pretty much going to take care of that. And you can take this get through here. That's looking a lot neater. I think we're ready to plug it in. Actually, hold on right there. Uh, in the course of building a guitar pedal board, if you're anything like me, you will experience somewhat of an addiction to buying uh, guitar pedals. So I did, since videoing the placing of the, um, the various pedals on the board and it's assembling the board, I did buy two more pedals. And so I'm going to do an unboxing for each of those two pedals. I'll come back to the board. We'll make some room for those two pedals. Hopefully there's enough room for those two pedals on the pedal board. And then we'll see how the pedal board goes. Um, can't wait to show you the two things I did buy. 
So we'll do those in the coming two weeks. Take care.